I do feel very strongly about um, treasuring the ordinary and the everyday, the things that we see but we kind of edit out because we're, we're really kind of taking them for granted so we can see the more important things. But I'm not sure if those other things are, you know, more important. The, the jury is out on that. I really enjoyed the visual stimulation of going into, say, a bodega, and I just love the gathering of all the objects. There is almost a portrait of Brooklyn in my work because of the objects that I have found there. We can only look at a certain amount of things every day. What, what things do we, we look at and um, what is worth paying attention to? For me, the unreal is almost the realest thing there is. The idea that there is a reality outside of the fabricated cultural reality still blows my mind. But I grew up in a really messed up place, a place that I couldn't even see, you know, its dislocated reality until I left and moved to Brooklyn. Before I knew it, there were birds, there were bugs, there were fungi, there was like trees, there were all kinds of things flooding into the work. If we come out of lower life forms, you know, I, I have all of those in, in my work. And so this, this entirety of the sort of evolutionary platforms that are the building blocks of life. There's almost a collectivity of human culture at work in collages, you know, of other photographers, other illustrators. They, they come together in my work in a way that they almost are like the choir and I get to be the conductor. My brother and I started a sign painting business when I was going to junior college, and it's been with me through my whole life, I guess. The love of letter fonts and different styles and color. But I love bringing it into the uh, complexity of reading and understanding. If you're reading about artwork, language replaces the art with an abstraction, meaning that the language is suddenly your interpretation of the work. And it's about perceiving. What we perceive is what we understand. It's undeniable now that you have to come into uh, to Brooklyn to see artwork. There's more artists concentrated here than any place in the world. really started the gallery as a way to uh, create a dialogue with uh, artists and have that sense of community. It just made it all seem worthwhile in, in a sense that you were part of something bigger than yourself.